from New Sociology USA, and we have a special guest, Miss Mireya Laguna, Miss World 2015. Hi, Mireya. Hi, everyone. How are you guys? We're doing good. How about you? How are you? I'm fine. I'm actually very happy to be, have been invited to these kind of things because now we can go out outside, we can do nothing and it's a way that we can communicate with each other and to, to, to enjoy a little bit our time and it's, we're changing our things to communicate and everything and I thank you very much for inviting me to this <laughs> yeah. kind of interview, chat. So. You're welcome. And speaking of chat, we have another special guest, Mr. Stephen, which yes. is the marketing director of Miss International. Hi, Stephen. Hello, hello. I'm really good friends with, with the people who are involved with the Miss International Spain right oh, now. Yes. Yeah, I'm yes. sure you know Jose. Of course, yes. Of course. <laughs> Hi, Jose. He'll be very happy that you <laughs> have a shout out to him. Yeah. Well, I'm more of a Miss Universe person, but this is the good thing about us, you know. You're Miss International, I'm more Miss Universe, Miss Maria's Miss World, so World, we can learn yes. about the three. Yeah, we can talk a little about bit about everything. Because well. <laughs> <laughs> so there are three pagements completely different. Even they have something in common, they are completely different. That's yep. true. And that's and, what unites us, our passion, yeah. right? <laughs> and, when, and when you meet all the winners of the different contests, you can see that they are similar, the winners of each one, but they are completely different within. The Miss Universes are very different from the Miss Worlds or mm. of the Miss Internationals, but the Miss Worlds are very similar between each other and the Miss Universe too. So it's something very common. I mean, it's special because even they have something in common, they are completely different. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I agree. I agree. So let's start with this. So how is your journey like as Miss World 2015 from Miss Spain to Miss World? What are your preparation? My preparation? Well, I have to say that I didn't have preparation at all. I mean, Mm, there are lots of girls that they have preparation for a lot of years, from one year, two years, maybe five years, or maybe when they are born, they want to be a beauty king. It was not my, 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 my dream to be a beauty queen. It was something that came to my life as a coincidence. And um, Jose Torre, the, mm -hmm. the one that you were talking about, the organization from Spain, they were calling me every year, Mireya, you should take part to this contest, you should take part I think you will be um, um, a good representative from Spain. And I was focused in my studies at that moment. So at the beginning, I didn't want to, to mix both things, beauty pagements with, with my studies. But then I started to investigate a little bit what was Miss World, and I thought was something interesting. And I can use both things as a platform for my studies and also for make a voice for my pharmacy career. And then I decided to, to, go, to go through it, but I had preparation. I didn't have preparation at all. I won the Miss World Barcelona when I was studying in Copenhagen. I was studying one year off in Copenhagen of pharmacy. And they called me, Mireya, why you don't take part in Miss World Barcelona? And I said, okay, yeah, I will go there. And then I won Miss World Barcelona. Six months later, I, wo I won the Miss World Spain. And in one month, I was going to China. I mean, I had only one, one month to prepare myself, to, to do my interviews, to have um, gym classes, to have workouts, to have uh, English classes. I mean, I had only one month to prepare everything. So I had no preparation at all. What I, what I was bringing for myself what the, was the thing that made me, um, made me want the Miss World. But I had no kind of a preparation mm -hmm. very interesting because this yeah. this is this is not the first she's not the first miss spain who won an international pageant with no preparation because my friend alejandra who yeah. was miss international yeah. 2008 mm -hmm. also yeah. went to miss international with no preparation yeah i know <laughs> she's my friend too and we are very friends and we have a lot of things in common. And yeah, we always talk about that, that she was not her dream <laughs> to go to Miss International, but then things in the life, they make you to go to these kind of things and, and you go for it and maybe it's not your dream, but then you realize <laughs> that you can make a lot of effort of it. And yeah, Alejandra. 
<laughs> Probably it's going to be a different story when it comes to Miss Universe Phil, right? Because you know, Miss Universe contestant really, really need yeah. a lot of preparation yeah. before they could go. If they really do you know? a lot. I've been there, like I can see like the pressure. But speaking of Miss Universe, you were bashing with um Angela Ponce when you competed yeah. for Miss Miss Spain World, right? Yeah, that's true. In Miss World Spain 2015, she was my mm -hmm. roommate. Oh, oh yeah, we were roommates. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were competing together, and and I remember her like she had a dream and she was going through it, and she was very focused on that. And she didn't make it for for Miss World Spain, but she tried, mm -hmm. she tried, she tried, and three years later, she won the Miss Universe of Spain. And I'm very happy for her because I think when somebody wants something and it, and it fights for it, you can achieve everything you want in your life. But it was something very funny because we, we were 25 contestants in the Miss World Spain and she was actually my roommate. I mean, we were living together for 10 days, so I know her very well. And I know sometimes she had like, um, she had a lot of pressure of media. She was she got a lot of pressure with him, uh, with herself. And I remember she was not happy at all. She had to focus, she had to manage a lot of different things. And I remember I was helping her. And she finally she was very open with me. And she was explaining me her problems. What she I mean we had a good relationship. Mm -hmm. That's nice You're to still hear. In communication with yeah. her. But yeah, we were roommates. It's something crazy. Now I went to Miss World and she went to Miss Universe and she, she made like a big difference in the world and a, a before and after mm -hmm. in new pavements. So it was something interesting, yeah. That's mad respect to Miss Ponce right there. You know, she may not have won the Miss Universe crown, but she earned the respect of people, you know. Exactly. And that's true what you said, like follow your dreams, you know, follow uh -huh. your dreams. Mm -hmm. so, I, I am really enjoying this person. one because yeah. you know Mireya I, we had during Miss World we only heard you speak just you know a few words during the interview mm -hmm. um, they usually just ask you you know what will you do if you become Miss World and then the second time I really heard you speak a lot was in 2016 when you asked Katriona Gray the final question and now I am so happy because you're talking and you're <laughs> talking in it, speaking in English, which is something that, wow, you know, the, oh, yeah. now I am trying to, 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 to realize why, not, not trying, I'm beginning to realize and appreciate even more why you became Miss World. Because sometimes, you know, you don't really know that after you compete with more than 100 contestants and then it's like, hey, well, what is in her that was not on the other 120 girls, right? Mm -hmm. um, and now you're the way you speak and the way you, you tell your story. It's, uh, oh, that, yeah, this, is the, this is the charming woman <laughs> that really touched the heart of the Miss World organization. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes I, 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 I wish I could be Miss World now because I think that when I won Miss World, I was only 23 years old. Maybe I was not ready for all the responsibility was coming ahead during all the year. I mean, during that year, I, I learned a lot. I changed completely. I know how to do a lot of different things. And even I was, I, the, the previous year I was living in Copenhagen, so I was studying in English. But mm -hmm. my English wasn't so fluent as now, and I could think in Spanish and I could express myself in Spanish, but I couldn't manage how to how to how to sometimes have to explain about different mm -hmm. things and how to do conferences in English. And now I'm happy, but I wish I could have this <laughs> ability four years now. But yeah, but you made history as the first Miss yeah, Spain yeah. to win first this world, first Spanish mm -hmm. winner ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, it's long overdue if you ask me you know it's like you know spanish women are like some of the most beautiful women in the world like i w went there in 2000 oh funny because it was in 2015 that i actually went to spain yeah i went to barcelona that's the only place in spain that i've been to I really well, yes 2015 i miss it so much i'm looking forward going there back <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm looking beach. forward to the travel. And speaking yeah, of I travel, know, I know. Miss Maria, um, during your Miss World brain, you traveled certain countries. Um, can you tell us yeah. what is your favorite country and what country left a mark in you? This is the question that everybody makes, like which was <laughs> the, the country that you enjoyed most. But I cannot answer that question because I think that every country is different and I enjoy a lot traveling. I mean, for me, traveling mm -hmm. was something that I really loved. And before being as well with my family every year, we were doing um, a trip together. So we have been in, in China, in Philippines, in Nepal with my family. So I'm very lucky and blessed to have this opportunity before with Miss Wall. In Miss Wall, I travel, I think, to 25 countries, I think. Wow. I was one of the um, last Miss Walls that travels more. Mm -hmm. But I think the countries that I really enjoyed more for the causes we were doing there and because they were completely different from my culture was Kenya. I mean, it's very, it's very difficult to, to choose one country or two mm -hmm. because everything has something special, but the ones that mark more was Kenya, mm -hmm. um, Philippines too, I like it so much. Um, India, well, I mean, all of them, I mean, but I, not countries, but I remember some, some things that marked me more. I remember in Puerto Rico, when I was there, that we're visiting an, a hospital. I actually have a, a picture in my, in my Instagram. We're visiting a hospital and it was like a little boy that was wearing a mask here. And, and when he saw me, he was like, oh my God. And he took off the mask and he, he take a picture very quickly with me and then he put again the mask. And I remember he didn't have um, legs because he was afraid to die. But in that moment, I remember exactly the, um, the bright of, of his eyes and mm. how happy you can make a person just with one mm. picture, of, with giving you a smile. And what I learned during that year was was to be blessed with myself of, of all what I have because when you realize how lucky you are to make these kind of things and make smile somebody, you make you happier. And, and these kind of little things were the things that make me be a better person after mm -hmm. one year of being a Miss World. I mean, I changed completely. I, it was something amazing. And, and I post that picture on Instagram and, and her mom, wrote me a message. Uh, this was w one year ago, I think I posted a picture and, and, my, and his mom wrote me a message and told me, oh Mireya, thank you very much to make my, my child smile for, for mm. one minute. Um, he already died three days after you, you visit him, but thank you very much because oh. I remember that moment as one of, mm. of of his best moments in his life. And these kind of things, you, you realize that you can make the difference, that sometimes you don't think so, and you make the difference. I don't, I mean, with, with your smile and with just to be with somebody and to say thank you, or come on, you can do it. With these kind of things, it makes you to be happier. And, and what I realized during this year is that Miss Wall has a, a very, very, very beautiful, very beautiful um, legacy of beauty with a purpose. Sometimes people don't know exactly what this means, but I think that the Miss Wall and beauty with a purpose is what makes this pageant different from the other ones. I mean, every, mm -hmm. all of them, I love all of them. I love Miss Universe, Miss International, but I think that for me as a pharmaceutical student that I was involved in some medical issues for me was amazing to to be able to to make these kind of differences in childs and people. Mm. Speaking of difference, um, right now, like when you reigned Miss World, it was a different time, and right now we're facing a different time. So, what yeah. do you think are the changes that's gonna happen within the pageant and the organization? You know, things like that. If I think they're gonna do changes in the organization mm -hmm. of Miss World. Yeah, you were asking yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. it, I think so. I think that now we are living worldwide, a before and after. Nobody knows where it's going to happen. I mean, everything is changing now, where it's happening in the U.S. So, 
all, all the protests. Now in Mexico yesterday, they were protesting to, mm -hmm. we don't know what is going on with the society, with the humanity. It's something that I don't know what is going on with ourselves, but we have to be focused and we have to change this now. And, and of course, we have to deal with that. We have to deal with the coronavirus. It's something new and, mm -hmm. and everything is going to change. And I think that the Miss World Organization now has the opportunity to, to use this platform to maybe not focus in other kind of countries, but focus 100% of that and help the, um, the countries that have been most affected with the coronavirus. Mexico, where I'm now, um, it's one of the um, countries that is more affected nowadays. We have 1,000 of dead people every day. It's a mm -hmm. lot of people. And I'm starting to do um, a charity gala to, in one month or two to, to, to do a raise funding and with another Miss Universe participant of Miss Estonia of 2012 that we are very close friends and also mm -hmm. Vanessa Ponce is doing us an initiative so I think that as ambassadors we can use this to to make voice and to encourage people to help a little bit. Maybe you don't have a lot of money to help, but maybe you can go to the supermarket and buy some buy some things. You can buy like some rice, some bread, some fruit. And when you are going back to your home, you can give this 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 food to the people you you think you need in the street. Every time that I go to a supermarket, I do that. I do I buy like 10 different boxes. And when I go to my house, I give it back to the people. And I think these little things is what people people should do because maybe you cannot do a lot of difference, but you can do little things that little by little everybody can 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 affront this problem that we're living worldwide. And this World Organization has to use that too. I think that they have to focus and do something, especially of coronavirus. They have to do a big gala. They have a lot of contacts in the governments of all the world. So I think they, they can use that to, to help each country in a different way, maybe not economically, but making the box. That nowadays this is the most important thing. And also with the platforms that we have, like Instagram, Facebook, the internet, mm. it's very easy to make the voice. And, and little by little, you can make this voice wider, wider, wider. I agree, I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's really so passionate, right? Right. <laughs> I feel her heart. Like, and I, I can feel, feel the Spanish passion, you know. Yes. Like it's the it's the it's the same thing when whenever I talk with Alejandra as well, you know, I could yeah, I could feel, we're you know, Spanish. The, the we're Spanish, Spanish we're yeah. passionate, yeah. <laughs> and I have to say that I'm very passionate with all that I do. I mean, if I do not, if I do something with no passion, don't do it. Mm. I think we have to to do things that we really want. Otherwise, you didn't take the things that you want. You have to, to be passionate of all the things you want and be one, focused on that. There, there's one thing that I just want to ask you, Maria, because you said a while ago that you were studying pharmacy, pharmacy yeah. um, back in Spain, and then you also did one year of pharmacy studies in Copenhagen in Denmark. Yeah. So are you still practicing this, or did you get the license afterwards before you joined the Miss World Spain, or...? You kind of mix both um, be, trying to become an actress right now and or you'll just go back to being a pharmacist one day. Well, um, when I was studying in Copenhagen, mm -hmm. I was actually my last year of pharmacy. Okay. No, my last year, no, sorry, my fourth grade. So uh -huh. it was five years. It was in my mm -hmm. fourth year of pharmacy. <clears throat> and when I won the Miss World Spain, I thought I should, I would stop. I did that, so I stopped for half a year when I won the Miss World Spain. Mm -hmm. I never thought I was going to be in the Miss World 2015. So um, I said, okay, I will be focused on that. I think I can use my voice um, as being Miss World Spain as a pharmacy student. Yeah, let's see. But I was never thinking that I was going to be the, um, the um, chosen from 122 girls. It's something that you don't realize until you win something like it's like crazy you don't you you cannot i can't believe it until now that i i i was the winner of all those girls mm -hmm. but um when i won miss world 2015 i talked with um with the owner of the university of barcelona 
and they helped me a lot. They were changing my exams, they were changing my timetables of the practical parts of the university. And during my, my year of Miss World, I was still studying pharmacy. Uh -huh. It was very, yeah, I was still studying pharmacy because I thought if I stop now, I will never continue it again. So it was pretty difficult because I was traveling like crazy. I had to study. Then, I mean, it was, but I, I'm happy that I could manage it. it, it I mean, I, I'm, has been, I have been always very hardworking, but yet during my last year of pharmacy, I was still Miss Wall. And then mm -hmm. I finished my degree. I never worked on pharmacy, but I have the studies. I, have, I love pharmacy. I love how, how mm -hmm. Pharmax um, are into the book. I love, I love it, but I choose another, another ways of, 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 my, of my path of my life. And now I'm studying distance and um, another degree. I'm studying marketing. Mm -hmm. um, on distance in the University of Barcelona too and I want to have my own line of products of organic products I'm working on that so mm -hmm. I want to mix my my pharmacy my pharmacy studies with the marketing ones and I'm working on my own brand of products now that hopefully in one year and a half I can I can take it off everything organic everything with pro natural products and I've been involved in the, um, in the chemical selection of all the components too, so Ooh. I'm very happy with that, yeah. Hey, she's also, she's also environment friendly, guys. That's nice, that's nice. Yeah, but Phil, we are destroying our, our planet now. Look, mm -hmm. everything that is happening now, it's something that our planet um, makes the, you have to be aware. You are here in my planet. The human beings are here in, in, the, in, the, in the earth, but we are destroying it. We have to, mm -hmm. to be aware, but only one, not only one person, everybody has to be aware of that. I do agree, yes. I do agree, but I am so impressed on how you were able to finish pharmacy studies while you are yeah, fulfilling your duties as Miss World because pharmacy is not an easy No, course. it's not, it's not. It's like, I have so many friends who actually did study pharmacy and no, it's not easy. Sorry. Our, mm -hmm. our, our Miss, uh, sorry, our Miss International right now from Thailand, she's a licensed pharmacist, by the way. Uh, but she really? already, fi she finished her studies already and she already got the license okay. before she joined the, the national yeah, contest. Much better, then, much better. Yeah. Because I have to say it was pretty difficult to travel yeah, like crazy, study, exams. But the university makes me, um, I mean, thanks God that they changed my exams. They were, I mean, they understand my situation. So they were helping me a lot. So yeah. I have to be very thankful with them. Very impressive. Very. Mm -hmm. So Miss Maria, like, do you have messages like to the world right now with what's happening, you know? So many, your, your so many things are going mm -hmm. on in the world right now with the COVID thing, with the mm -hmm. political situation in the political United States. Thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot. <laughs> so, so what do you mean? You're, well, just a message of hope or just something. Bef hope. Mm -hmm. Before, no before we, we dig you with so many questions because there has been so many questions right now on misosology. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot see the Facebook page. Right? That's okay. I'm, I'm monitoring that one. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that we, we don't have to think individually. We have to think as a community. Um, we're, we're focusing a, a time of changes, as I said before. So we don't have to be egoist with ourselves. And we don't have to think for our own money, for our own success. We have to work as a community. And this has to apply to the governments, to all the business people that are controlling the world. We have to work as a community and not to, to work individually and to think for ourselves. And I think this is the only way that we can manage all these kind of situations like coronavirus virus and not to be egocentric and not to think with our egos we have to think as a community and and try to make our best for our world because we are going to live there all our life and it's true and i think we have to stay we have to stay positive we have to be focused and for our hands we have to do 
where it's in our hands. I mean, maybe one individual person cannot make a big difference, but if we are aware that that something has to change in the world, I think that if everybody of us is aware, I think that we can make changes. But this is something difficult because, as I said before, egos mm, sometimes controls ourselves. Mm -hmm. And hopefully this is going to change with this situation and we are going to be more open mind of what is happening really and what has to be changed to be successful in 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 these situations that are going going through right now i i, I agree i very much agree okay. with mix which is the reason why you're in this world you know the mm -hmm. the diplomacy you know like and the wisdom behind those words but if you are if you are a beauty queen indeed you know you are a symbol of unity instead of being divisive you know like when it comes to political views and yeah that's true mm -hmm. but i i don't think that there is this is something that only beauty queens have i think that a lot of people have this this way of thinking but mm -hmm. we just are like speaking speaking persons and we are like ambassadors of this kind of thinking but a lot of people think like that and they can be very good representatives of their country and the community and the society i think that um people is beginning to be aware that of the political situation everywhere and the problems that we are facing as a, a society and uh, thanks to the um, new technologies thanks to the internet we have more it's easier to 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 be in touch with every part of the world so they cannot control ourselves as they used to do some years now now we are aware of everything that is happening right now so everything is changing we are we are going through a time of changes absolutely yeah it is it, it's not the same it won't be the same i guess no, yeah. never. It's very, like, very fast. <laughs> the change, yeah. it changed very fast. Yeah. Yeah. There's one question here mm -hmm. that my friend actually wanted me to ask you, Maria. Mm -hmm. His name is Drew. And he's asking, hi, Maria. Hi. What do you think are the qualities that it takes to win the Miss World Crown? <laughs> the qualities. <laughs> You asked this question to Catriona, I think, and then he, yeah, he wants to ask you the same question. What do you think are the qualities that it takes to win the Miss World Crown? That's a nice question. It's actually, it's not an easy question, I have to say, because mm. of 120 girls that are the best representative of each country, why it has to be me or not another girl that maybe has the same qualities of me? It's, I think it has something to be with the aura i don't know how to explain it but i think that all the miss world winners have something in common i think we have this i don't know this kind of aura miss world i don't know how to explain it but i think that what makes me one it was not my english at all because mm -hmm. i mean it's had, they saw me humanity they saw me um humility Mm. They saw me the, that I could be a good representative, an ambassador to to be like the little daughter of Julia Morley because <laughs> at, at the end she chose um, the the daughter she will have for one year and she has to have qualities of being, um, not have egos. I think mm -hmm. the ego is very important mm. to be humble, to be to be able to be with the, um, go, uh, with the government of one country or at the same time to be able to be with one poor person i mean they are looking for for this this heart this good heart and they saw that on me and also i did well i have to say that i did well in the miss world competition yeah you were the <laughs> winner mean, of the I top models yeah, working hard and we were doing different <clears throat> different um challenges the top model yeah you won the uh, top model yeah i won the top <laughs> model actually yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
I was shocked because it's what I be, but yeah, I wanted to model. I I classified also in sports. I do a lot of sports. I classified also in talent. And so I think I did a good job. I mean, I could never think I was going to win because you, when you are competing, you saw that as, ah, it's going to be impossible. There are a lot of girls that there are beautiful, good persons, but everything. But then at the end, they are, they are looking for something, something very small that one person has and the other not. I don't know which is this thing, but I think that they, Julia knows exactly what is she looking for. Can, can you read the questions, uh, Phil? I, I'm not connected. <laughs> You're not? Okay, because there's this one very interesting question, actually. Um, um, maybe you have answered this one a while ago, Maria. Um, Love Marie Crown is asking, at what point in the competition did you realize that you're going to win? Um, I have to say that never. Mm. I, I think that uh, I, didn't, I didn't know my potential when I was competing. I don't know why, but kind of I didn't believe of. Some people could see on me what I didn't, what I wasn't able to see myself. So I thought from the beginning, Russia was going to win. Lebanon was going to win. Because when I, you were looking on the internet pages of, of, of fans, they had their favorite ones, they had their favorite countries, and I didn't expect I was going to win. Mm -hmm. But where I was happy that all my, my friends, I have to say that I made friends in the Miss World, they were saying to me, Mireya, you, you can win, you can win. I was like, oh my God, of course not, I cannot win. And it had some, um, imagine that they told us, you have to prepare a question in case you are in the top five. The question was, why should we miss world? And I was like, okay, I'm not going to prepare that question because I'm not going to be in the top five. So oh, I don't mind, I'm not going to prepare that question. And then I go through the top 10 and I remember the girl of Portugal and the girl of Wales that they were very friends of mine, Mireya, you should prepare the question. You will be top five. And it was like, oh my God, yes, I mean top ten. Maybe I will be top five too, but I didn't prepare the question. And I remember to take my phone and then start writing something that, okay, uh, it was like, no, okay, I'm not going to be in top five. So well, that's what prepare the question. And when we were the, the 10 of us in the... Um, in the stage and they said the first top five and it was a stay my mm. face was like oh because the first thing that came into my mind was like oh my god i didn't prepare the question so when they put they when they were putting me the video of of all the, um, my my trajectory of, on that days in the miss world i was thinking okay oh my god megan is going to ask me now the question and i don't know how to answer and so <laughs> But I spoke with my heart because I was improvising everything. And the other girls had already prepared the question. And also this, I think that they also saw me that I was um, speaking with my heart and I had not prepared, prepared it at all. So it was something funny because I never expect I was going to win. I have to say that during the last days, everybody knew my name. Uh, everybody in the organization, everybody knew, ah, Spain, oh, Mireya, Spain, Mireya. And, and also I have to say that when I was in, um, when they were, we were, we were preparing for, for, the, um, for, the, final, for the final night, the, um, the guy that was taking care of the hairdresser came to me, oh, Mireya, I will, do you need help with your hair? And uh. I was like, Oh, maybe they are doing this to all of all the girls. And I, my roommate was Uruguay, and she told me, "Oh, why they are telling to you and not to me?" And she was like, "Kind of." But I thought, no, I think they are going to every room to ask if we need help. But I was the only one. But I didn't realize that until <laughs> until I won because I thought they were they were going to with all the girls, and they went only only with me. Yeah, because there is already a point system in Miss World, and then you are collecting all the points, and then I'm pretty yeah. sure that the production team already knows which girls will make it in the top ten, exactly. and then we need to make sure that this girl's hair is 
is ready for the crown in case she wins or if she's in the top yeah. five. So this I is think why the day before we did like um, a final, uh, we did rehearsal? like, so yeah, final rehearsal as it were the like final night. We, we had to wear our final dress, we had mm. to wear our hair, we had to wear everything like if it were the final night because they wanted to check the cameras, they wanted to check everything. I think that from the previous day, they already know I was going to win, they already know who is in the top five. Maybe not the winner, but maybe the top five, they know it for sure, because they have to prepare the video. And of course, um, the work of one month cannot be decided from one from one night. A night, of, of course, no. So they already know who is going to be top 20, top 10, top five. And I think the top five is decided from the last night, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's usually the know. case, yeah. That's usually the case. Mm -hmm. And so, speaking of winning, um, I, there's a question here. How is working with Miss Julia Morley? Like, Miss Julia, there's little known about her. So, how is working with her and how would you introduce Miss Morley to us? How is her as being it's like, like it's, her mom? <laughs> yeah, it's like a mom. It's like yeah. a British street. Um, um mom i mean it, it's hard to work with her because she she's very she knows what she wants in their girls and she she's she's like teaching you how to be a, a better person how to be well educated she's like a mom i have to say and and i had a very good relationship with her and we're still in touch since now i think that um, she knows for sure what she's looking for in uh, Miss World Winner because she has to be living with her during one year. And she's an amazing person because she, she, she was able to change what a beauty contest was to make a different contest, different kind of thing. And she really enjoys what she's doing. I, you can see in her eyes when she goes in a place and she raises money, how... how her eyes change and her smile you can see how she really enjoys what she's doing and as i was saying before you have to be passionate aware of everything you're doing in your life and she's really passionate of on that and this is why she's successful in the miss world competition it's going it's going forward and it's it's not disappearing i mean you have to be passionate of what we are doing and Julia, yeah, she's very special. She's very hardworking. And of course, all the Miss Walls, we have had uh, little ar arguings with, with them, with the Miss World organization. Mm -hmm. Of course, we are we're young and sometimes we, we do things that they are not nice. I remember once that I was wearing um, a dress to go to a hospital. It, I think it was in Maya. Um, I don't remember where it was exactly, but I was wearing a dress and she was like, Mireya, go change, put some jeans because we're going to this. And I was like, oh yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> of course, but it, it was like, I will explain a lot of, of, of anecdotes that happened to me, but I think I did a good job and, and she was crying and Steve too was crying when I gave my cry. Oh, we will miss you, we love you. So it was something very beautiful, yeah. And every time I go, I go very often to London when I, I when I'm in Barcelona, I go very often to London, and every time that I go there, we have a coffee together in the um, in the um, in the office of Miss Wall. So it's it's nice to keep this relationship, and and I'm very blessed that I had the opportunity to live that. Mm, nice. Hmm, let's take another question here. Uh, okay. By the way, this is the first time that we're doing live. Actually, we mm -hmm. we've yeah. been doing. Um, oh, really? We have been doing recorded recorded um, interviews on Zoom, but this is the first mm -hmm. time that we are actually uh -huh. like connecting Zoom and Facebook Live. So it's it's uh, first time. And uh, <laughs> I have to ask you thirty yes. seconds because I'm running out of battery. So I will okay. go very quickly to take my charger. And I'm okay, coming sure. back. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Coming You're, very quick. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. So yeah, what 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 can you say? What can you say about Maria so far, Phil? Me? Yes. Damn, he's very passionate. You know. Yeah, like, this is one thing that we actually didn't see up that much. 
mm. during during uh, those times when she was well she was very honest about it anyway because she was so mm-hmm. young and then she her english was not that good yet but if she could turn back time and she became miss world now she probably would have been more outspoken and more extrovert in that aspect oh i can't hear i can't hear you there yeah. are Am I alone though? Can you hear me? So I'm we're back. really good. Yeah, she's back. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Charged. Do it very quickly. <laughs> because I had we two, two minutes of battery <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to run out of battery. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just talking about you, like how, you know, you were, you were like your experience from, from Miss Spain world to Miss world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For your experience, like, the maturity and if mm-hmm. and right now from from winning miss world to miss i mean to to so where you at right now there's really this like very mature and on another side of you that we did not know you know yeah. so we were really surprised <laughs> yeah, we I thought think... that you were a very shy person actually because you were very yeah. you know no, actually i've never been so shy <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is yeah, I was not ready. I mean, um, the Miss World organization saw m- on me potential, but I was in a lab doing experiments and suddenly I was Miss World. <laughs> I was never on TV before. I was never doing interviews. For me, yeah. it was something mm-hmm. different. And now, of course, after four years of One Miss World, I have been through a lot of different situations and I'm more mature and now have to deal with some situations that I was not able at that moment. But yeah. I think even of these kind of things, I think I, I did a good job as a Miss Walt. I'm very proud of myself. I wish I could be more, more close with my fans and with my people because I think this, I miss this a little bit for, the, um, for my English or maybe, I don't know, maybe for my shyness, as you said, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. It's not the same to be 22 years old or to be 27 with all this trajectory. It's completely different. When Vanessa Ponce, that is, she's actually my friend, won the Miss World last year, she mm. was 27 years old. She was more mature. Mm. Completely. She's, it's she's not the same to be. It's not the same sure. to, to win yeah. Miss World with 21, 22 than to win with almost 30. It's completely different. Mm-hmm. It's, it's funny because I always thought that this Miss World, like, when you all go like together, because I always see you like get together a lot, the title holders. Like of all the pageants, like I always see Miss World title holders like coming together. I always saw that it's always like a Disney, you know, <laughs> you're on the Disney castle, you all have this like personality, but you're all bonded because you're all like you you all speak one voice, you're all like yes. caring, you know? <laughs> yes, we are very similar to each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are we are completely different because everyone is different, but we have so- something in common and we're still in touch all the Miss World winners. We have a WhatsApp group and we're still talking every day. Well, not every day, but we still have a fluent relationship. And who is going this year to the Miss World final? And oh, what's going on with our congratulations? You had a child. So we're still in touch and it's nice to have this. this Who's your closest of all the... Um of your sisters, who's your closest, or do you have any closest one? Um, yeah, with Vanessa, with Stephanie, yeah, are the ones, I think because they are Spanish speakers, we have been, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, and also we live very close, I mean, now I'm in Mexico, and Stephanie lives in Puerto Rico, and Vane lives in Mexico, so mm-hmm. I have to say that I helped Vane a lot of in, in winning, because I, I knew her before she went to the Miss Wall and I was the jury in the Miss Wall mm-hmm. Mexico. So um, I knew her from before and we used to be friends before she won the Miss Wall. Yeah, and I have to say that th- these three are, um, are my closest friends, but I am still in touch with Rolina, so with Manushi. She was asking me, I remember when she was going, um, she was coming up to the final of her range. She was asking me some questions. Mireya, I don't know how to deal with that. I mean, we're like, we're giving advices from one to another. I remember when I won, Rolin came to my room and she sat with me and she said, Mireya, you are going to go to, um, 
difficult situations. You are going to sometimes say, ah, I cannot be Miss World anymore, but enjoy the journey. I mean, enjoy the journey. Don't think that, you, of course, you will have situations that you, you don't know how to deal with, but you just have to be focused and enjoy the journey. So we give advice to each other. It's like a sisterhood that is really a sisterhood. And it's something very beautiful that Miss World have. Mm, that's nice. really sweet. Yeah. We're very, very sweet. Oh. Yeah, so He's being we bombarded by so many questions right now. <laughs> but I have a personal question. I have a personal question because yeah. you're now in Mexico. I wanted to know what brought you to Mexico. It brought me to Mexico because I had a big project in the Mexican TV here. Ah, okay. So I came here. For a person so, that I have. With the COVID situation right now, it's currently on hold. Yeah, yeah. I've been, mm -hmm. I've been recording a TV series last week. I'm focusing in the actress, act, yeah. acting part now. But yeah, everything is paralyzed now. Yeah, yeah because sometimes when you look at your Instagram or when we are looking at the Instagrams of beauty, beauty queens or winners of various pageants, we see them in different countries. But at the same time, we think like maybe it's a... Maybe it's a it's a picture that they took some weeks ago or some months ago, and then we don't really know exactly what is the whole picture unless, for yeah. example, we in my case, unless I could understand Spanish because yeah, Spanish that's, is that's not my it's not my language. And then, but now, um, just for everyone to know, Maria right now is an aspiring actress, and she's in Mexico, and we'll be seeing her probably in a. Was it a big screen or are we expecting telenovela or what? I'm, my, my goal is to go to Hollywood. This Ooh. is why I'm practicing my English every day, my <laughs> accent, everything. Of course, it's a, uh, it's a hard work. But now it was a big opportunity for me to come to Mexico because for Spanish speakers, it's um, the biggest um, TV country here. So mm -hmm. I had this opportunity and I thought it was... It was something that I couldn't miss. So I came to Mexico and I'm doing also a lot of castings in LA and I'm moving a lot from Miami, Mexico and LA. So I'm very happy. I know it's, of course, it's, um, I have to still working hard because it's, it's difficult, but, but I'm very happy to, to have chosen this opportunity. Phil, Phil, probably we are talking right now to a future Bond girl. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> because, you know, Miss World Winners usually has this history of being a Bond girl, you know? <laughs> yeah, I would love it. I would love and it. Like, there's yeah, this is like, that are big, like, in movies right now. Like, you have um, Nick Jonas' wife, right? Um, Priyanka Chopra. She's a former yeah. Miss World. Yeah. Oh, Ashwarya yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Even some who did not win the Miss World title who eventually became Bond girls and... Yeah, Michelle Yeo, so. for example, was a former Miss Malaysia. So, yeah, mm -hmm. and the Halle one from was Halle Berry. Oh, oh god, Halle Berry. Yeah, yeah. Halle Berry. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but also it's a hard work. You cannot expect to be Miss World and in the next year to be do being a Miss World uh, to Priyanka. It, it they took like five ten years. Uh, yes, that's because true. Because you have to be hard working. Because if you do things easier. If you do things easy, mm -hmm. as it comes, it goes down. So it's better to create a solid career, little by little, and 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 to make things well done. Yeah. Your passion, and you know, you're so sure of yourself. You know, there's there's the maturity there, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna, <laughs> you'll be able to handle the the pressures of Hollywood. You can, I think that's. Do you live near Hollywood, Phil? Yeah, I live in LA, Long Beach. Yeah. So, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> call me when you're here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have some bonding time. So, um, so before we end this um Zoom meeting and live conver uh, conversation, Maria, do you have any social media, or any um movement, um projects that you would want to promote? and let the um, society, everyone knows um, about it? Yeah, I, I've been taking part during this coronavirus pandemic 
to, to true initiatives, but in Spain, that they are working um, for finding out a vacuum. And one is one of the best labs uh, in Spain, and they're doing like different, different tests and different um, um, clinical trials with persons that have been ill of coronavirus. You can see in my Instagram page that I, I put the, the organization. And yeah, I'm very happy because a lot of famous people have come into it and we have raised a lot of money, almost like two millions of euros. So it's a lot of money. So I'm very happy. And I will, um, I want to, um, to say from here that I will, I will be starting now with my charity in Mexico because we, it's one of the most affected cities in the, in the uh, countries in the world. And also here, there are a lot of money that can be used. I mean, it has like, it's a third world country, but on the other hand, there, there is a lot of money. So I've been um, connected with this kind of um, people and I have a lot of support from them and I will have my, my charity here in Mexico in the next two months. I'm starting to involve everything. So keep update on my Instagram pages and everything. So, so you will see what is going on with, with that. And her Instagram page is M La Laguna, right? M La Laguna, yeah. So guys, make sure to follow her to see what's happening to her. So guys, it's been nice talking to you, Ms. Maria. Yeah. And Thank you very much. I will still talking with you like three hours more. <laughs> you are so I, fun to talk with, Mir yeah, Maria. Yeah, I have a lot of like things. I have a lot of things to explain as what happened in my Miss World year. A lot of uh, funny stuff, but. Sanya yeah. had a lot of really interesting stories yeah. go, who went, that went on during those mm -hmm. almost one month of activities. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So here we have it. So thank you and hope to see you and talk to you soon. Yes. All right. On behalf of our you friend. Can organize another, another meeting if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On behalf of our friend Drew and Amir and also to Bong, who has been communicating with you. Thank you very much. Yeah, from Rome, yeah. Thank you. And also and to Jose. Thank you for all the people that were seeing this live. Thank you very much for being there. Um, yeah, it will be saved and will be some people will be able to watch it again and then you oh, know, just great. rewind. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Bye, bye. Thank you very much and thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, how did it go?